everybody. Matt Watson here, uh, Watson Farms. Uh, been a while since we came to you with the video, so we thought uh, maybe we'd go ahead and, and do one this evening and uh, have it ready for our newsletter uh, that goes out tomorrow. Um, a quick word about that: we appreciate all the uh, all of you who who read the newsletter that we send out weekly. And uh, if you if you don't uh, read it, then uh, be sure to to check it out. We call it Pasture Posts. It goes out um, every Sunday afternoon. And uh, a lot of folks uh, seem to enjoy it, so uh, we, I, I enjoy writing it and, um, and uh, putting it out there. And uh, it's a way to have a direct connection to your farmer. And um, we appreciate you guys uh, allowing us to be your farmer. So uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, what we did today. Um, uh, you can see the uh, broiler chickens here. Uh, we got a line of them in this field. Uh, a good many chickens out on pasture right now. And so I'm out here uh, checking, checking on the broilers and giving them uh, an extra uh, watering, making sure they've got plenty of water. Uh, in these these hot days, that's uh, kind of critical. So we uh, we're, we're checking on them this evening. We also moved the cows in that paddock there uh, behind me. Um, uh, you can see them there. We we moved them out there um, earlier this evening, and uh, um, uh, we did it a little later in the day today uh, to. Uh, the paddock they're in uh, doesn't have much shade, and we knew that, uh, so we, we uh, allowed them access to shade a little longer in the day, and then as it cooled off this evening, we moved them into, uh, into that paddock, and uh, it's about uh, just enough grass in there to, um, to last them overnight. There's a little over 100 head there, and uh, we'll, we'll let them stay there overnight, and then first thing in the morning, we're gonna move them across the road into a into another paddock that'll last them the day and they'll have shade and everything so uh, it's kind of uh, uh, we have to uh, kind of choreograph it uh, to where the you know the cattle are where they need to be uh, according to the weather and and the grass and everything else so um, the broilers just uh, traveled over that ground that the cattle are on there so you can uh, you can see our multi-species grazing in action uh, there and uh, so yeah we um, we, we just want to say a, a word of thanks to all of you guys. Um, it's, uh, it's been, uh, you know, a little busy around here. We've, we've had some uh, staffing changes lately and, um, and some things, but we're, we're hanging in there. We're, uh, we're getting the work done and we've got some, we've got a good team of folks that's uh, helping us get deliveries out and get our uh, customer service work done and um and and you know get get the orders fulfilled and the and the meat produced so we're uh, we're hanging in there and uh, trying to do a good job for you guys and we appreciate uh appreciate all the business that uh that you guys uh offer us and and give us the opportunity to serve you with so um anyway that's a look at where we're at we're uh these these birds a lot of these broilers are um are are in uh, uh pretty close to being processed so uh, they're they're uh, they're pretty big, and uh, when they're big, they uh, they take uh, uh, take a little more care. So we uh, we spray them um, uh, with with cool water um, in these hot afternoons, and uh, douse them with water, and that uh, that keeps them uh, comfortable and performing like we need them to, and uh, uh, provides you you know with uh, with the best quality meat possible, uh, keeps the birds um, with uh, less stress from heat and things like that. So. Uh, uh, just wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit about how we've cared for our animals today and how we do how do we do it in the heat and uh, making sure that we're pro uh, producing a product that you expect. And so uh, anyway, um, check us out online, watsonfarmsbeef.com and look for look for our newsletter each week. Thanks. <laughs>